Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 comedy film called Work It. The movie opens up with the main character of the story, Quinn Ackerman, narrating her plans for getting admitted to her dream college. She is an intelligent high school senior who lives with their single mother, Maria Ackerman. She mentions that she has dedicated all her life to building a perfect resume to get accepted into Duke University. While her best friend Jasmine is practicing dance to make it her career, Quinn works at multiple places to tick all the boxes in her resume to impress the interviewer. Being intelligent and quirky, Quinn also works as the technical director of the high school's dance team, Thunderbirds. As the dance team has won consecutive work at competitions for years, it is famous all around the state. Unfortunately, one day while the team is practicing their dance for the upcoming year's work at competition, Quinn accidentally spills her coffee on the control panel, causing a fire on the stage and ruining their live performance. Because of this, the arrogant leader of the Thunderbirds dance team, Juilliard Pembroke, fires her from her position. Quinn apologizes for her mistake, but Juilliard is in no mood to listen to her. The next day, Quinn attends her entrance interview for Duke University. She is obsessed with the university as her father attended the same one and also took her there on various occasions. Despite Quinn's impeccable resume and transcript, the interviewer, Veronica Ramirez, tells her that her documents are similar to the other applicants and her chance of getting admission is very low. Veronica also mentions that she is not just looking for a student with a good academic record, but a student who thinks out of the box and is a complete package. Desperate to get into Duke University, Quinn lies to Veronica that she is also a dancer of the famous dance team, Thunderbirds. Hearing this, Verona gets impressed and tells Quinn that she will help her in the admission process after she watches her performance with the Thunderbirds in the coming work at competition. Later, when Quinn comes out of the interview room, she finds Maria waiting for her. Maria asks her about her interview and Quinn replies that it went well and that the interviewer was impressed with her. She also lies to her mother that she has a good chance of getting admission into the university. Later, Quinn decides to confess to Veronica but ends up having second thoughts about trying to be a member of the Thunderbirds. In the next scene, Jasmine approaches Juilliard to talk about their practice routine for the upcoming competition, but he ignores her. Feeling humiliated, Jasmine challenges Juilliard to a dance-off, but ends up losing to him in front of a large audience. Following this, Quinn approaches Jasmine and asks her to teach her to dance so that she can become a part of the Thunderbirds. At first, Jasmine takes it as a joke, but when she finds Quinn serious, she agrees. Quinn then decides to crack the audition for the dance team, which is scheduled to happen in two weeks. When Jasmine teaches some dance moves to Quinn, one can clearly see that Quinn has no idea how to dance. Despite this, she tries her best and keeps on practicing for the audition. Unfortunately, during the audition, Quinn gets nervous and forgets her dance steps, humiliating herself in front of Juilliard and the other Thunderbirds. Rather than selecting Quinn for the team, Juilliard insults her and suggests she start her own dance team and apply to the university. Surprisingly, Quinn takes his advice seriously. She immediately approaches Jasmine and persuades her to help her create their own dance team. Jasmine reluctantly agrees and quits the team, but soon realizes that she made a big mistake as a recruiter from the New York Dance Academy will be watching them in the competition. In the next scene, Quinn does all the research and comes up with a list of potential dance members for her new team. After a bit of searching, she also finds a famous dancer and choreographer Jake Taylor and decides to approach him for the position of the choreographer of their dance team. Despite Jasmine telling her that Jake has been underground for two years, Quinn manages to find his location and goes there to meet him. She finds him running a dance studio and after his lesson is over, she asks him to be the choreographer for their team. However, Jake refuses, stating that he is not interested in it. Rather, he suggests she give up on creating a new team and continue her study. Before leaving the studio, Quinn tells him that she will never give up and also mentions Jake's knee injury. The next day, we see Quinn and Jasmine with some promotional flyers for their dance group. Jasmine mentions that she knows some dancers from their college and decides to approach them and distribute the flyers. Quinn's way of persuading is so good that all of them agree to join. Later, Quinn goes back to Jake Taylor's studio, enrolls herself in a kid's class, and starts practicing. After seeing her perform, Jake realizes that she is not a dancer, so he tries to teach her some moves. Before leaving, Quinn hands the flyer to Jake and asks him if he has changed his mind to be their dance group's choreographer. In the next scene, Quinn can be seen standing in a garden with the team she has amassed and names it Team TBD. At the same time, Jake arrives and tells Quinn that they can come to his studio and practice. Quinn excitedly accepts his proposal. They go to Jake's studio and start practicing, but their dance moves are very weak and clumsy. After watching the group struggle, Jake finally agrees to choreograph the team for Work It, but only if they manage to qualify for the competition. The next day, TBD decides to get an outsider's opinion about their dance, so they get an old man as a spectator. 
Unfortunately, after seeing their dance moves, the old man dies, leaving them speechless and nervous. In the next scene, Team TBD auditions for Work It. They perform in front of the judges, and despite their horrible performance, they are chosen. After the selection, Quinn meets with Jake in a cafe and tells him they have been chosen for Work It. Jake tells her that they need to work very hard if they want to win the competition. Later, they leave the cafe and go for a walk where Quinn questions Jake on why he left dancing despite being an excellent dancer. Jake replies that he left dancing because of his knee injury. After that, Jake gives her some pointers on how to enhance her dancing. He also demonstrates some moves by performing on the streets. Seeing Jake perform, Quinn discovers that she can also dance effortlessly. With Jake's guidance, she begins to understand the language of music and dance. After this realization, she begins to dance everywhere she goes. A few days later, Team TBD visits Jake's studio where they learn that Jake has been fired. It is due to Juilliard complaining to Jake's boss about TBD using their studio for free. As a result, the group cannot practice at the studio any longer. Jake becomes upset by this and leaves the dance team. Because of the incident, Quinn is also affected and her grades start slipping. The next day, Quinn receives an email from her Duke University's interviewer, Veronica in which she expresses her intention to leave the university admission committee. Quinn rushes to the phone and tries to persuade her not to leave because she has formed a dance group specifically to get admission to the college, but unfortunately, Veronica hangs up. Later, Maria scolds Quinn for getting distracted from her studies. Quinn tries to make her understand that the dance team is necessary in order to get admission to the university. However, her theory doesn't convince her mom. As a result, Quinn decides to leave the dance team and focus on her studies. Later, she goes to Jasmine and tells her of her decision because she has to improve her grades. Hearing this, Jasmine gets angry because she left the Thunderbirds to form the new team. Despite Jasmine saying this, Quinn walks away, leaving her team members. In the next scene, Quinn meets with Jake who apologizes for leaving her team stranded. When Jake learns that Quinn has abandoned the team, he asks her to stay, saying that he is ready to choreograph them. Despite this, Quinn ignores him and walks away. Time passes by, but Quinn cannot focus on her studies as she is still distracted by the thoughts of her dance team. Meanwhile, Jasmine returns to her previous dance team, Thunderbirds, and starts practicing with them. The next day, Quinn is sitting in a nursing home full of elderly people. There, she has a conversation with an old woman who tells her that she used to be a dancer in her younger days. After hearing some inspirational words from the woman, Quinn gets inspired and decides to dance again. While she is dancing in the library, people inside notice her and appreciate her moves. She then gets excited and heads to Jake to show him her new moves. Jake is also impressed by her dance and he understands that she has started to feel the music. The next day, Quinn meets up with Team TBD and reconciles with them and they start practicing passionately. They also learn each other's unique dance styles and over the next two months, the team improves dramatically. One day, Quinn meets up with Jasmine and asks her to join the team again. Jasmine leaves without saying anything, but when she goes to her practice session with the Thunderbirds, she gets into a fight with Julia. As a result, she leaves the Thunderbirds and returns to TBD. Finally, the day of the work at competition arrives and Quinn wakes up a little late in the morning. She is the only one at home while all the other team members are at the competition venue waiting for her. Unfortunately, when Maria finds out that Quinn is about to go to the competition, she tries to stop her. However, Quinn somehow manages to steal the car's keys and leaves. When she arrives at the venue, her team's dance performance has already started. She joins them in the middle of the performance and dances her part. They dance so well that they win the competition. After TBD wins the title, a professor from the New York Dance Academy approaches Jasmine and invites her to join them, and Jasmine agrees. On the other hand, Veronica approaches Quinn and reveals that she has joined a new university. She asks Quinn if she wants entry into the university, but the latter is adamant about only joining her dream university. Later, Juilliard approaches them to congratulate them for their hard work and success. In the last scene, it is shown that Quinn and her team's good days have started. Jake and Quinn can be seen together, and the movie ends on a happy note.